mum was doing an incredible job on television trying to help solve other people's problems. Yeah. And you feel like at home something else was going on. I think having a successful parent, especially a parent who's in the public eye, is both uh, a blessing and a curse. Um, I had these issues, but I didn't want her to be disappointed in me. And I think it doesn't matter who your parents are, whether they're Trisha or Gandhi or whoever they are. Um, you know, you can't have it all. And she provided an incredible life for us. We had, I went to a great school, had an amazing home. Um, but the reason why I wanted to tell my story is that addiction and mental illness, it doesn't discriminate. It doesn't matter who you are, what privilege you have, how educated you are, whatever, it doesn't matter. You started drinking mm -hmm. alcohol at the age of 12? Yes. And then you started taking drugs? Yes, yeah, it was a gradual progression. And would, how would you describe your teenage years and the impact that had on your life? Um, yeah, I think my teenage years were wild, uh, to say the least. Um, but actually very lonely. Um, we lived in the middle of the countryside. Um, I felt quite isolated and I think that boredom contributed to the drug and alcohol use. Mm. Um, but, you know, it's something that you glorify as a teenager, and especially when I went to university, my lifestyle wasn't that different from the other students. It reached a low point, didn't it, yes. for you, where you seriously considered your future? And yes. What you were going to I mean, a couple of do times. with your life? Yeah, absolutely. I've struggled with, with suicide ideation and suicidal thoughts uh, intermittently throughout my, throughout my teens and adult life. Mm. How much do you blame yourself and how much do you blame your mum? I don't think any, anyone's to blame. It's something that can happen to anyone. Um, as I said, my mum gave us an incredible life. Mm. I do wish she was around more. I do wish, you know... As but you've, got, so you've got a sibling who didn't have any of these problems. That's yeah. why I'm asking whether you think, you know, maybe you just got in with the wrong crowd, that it was unfortunate that way. I mean, you know, you can blame your mum. We're going to ask yeah, her at the moment I, how much... I made those decisions. She, yeah. I, I was the one who decided I went to drink. I was the one who made those decisions. I don't think anyone can, can be blamed for that. You think if, if your mum had been around more, that she might have picked up on that and stopped it? In the very perceptive way, she was dealing with everybody else's problems. Maybe, but, again, it's not something that kids will openly sort of talk to their parents about. And one of the reasons why I'm here is to say, if you're going through these issues, you don't need to be ashamed. You do deserve help. Mm. Life can get better. OK, Tricia, mm. um, it must be very weird for you to listen to this from your own daughter, given how many times you'll have listened to people talking about their lives and you've been trying to facilitate and help them. What, what do you make of what Billy's been saying? Um, it's not new to me. Um, I've always had another life outside of my... Uh, uh, outside of the work I've done. And um, although no parent can know the whole story, I, I, you know, Billy and I have had... We've been through quite a lot. I've been through other things. She's been through her stuff. We've dealt with things, a lot of things that weren't de dealt with. Um, as Billy said, I, I mean, I was a major... I was the provider. I was, um, you know, bringing home the the bacon, but I was also doing all the shopping, the cooking, everything else, the dog walking. And, yeah, I mean, hindsight is a beautiful thing, but, you know, I was brought up with a mother who worked... Two parents who worked non-stop. You, you know, you, you've got to pay a mortgage, and I was the mortgage payer. But, you know, hindsight's an, an amazing thing, but I knew bits and pieces that were going on every so often, something would happen. Of course, you never know the whole picture, because, as Billy said, um, one thing, we lived in the middle of nowhere, so there was a lot of boredom uh, for, for kids in rural areas. And the other thing was, um, you know, that I guess she wanted to hide it from me. You know, I've always been proud of Billy. I'm proud of how she's faced her demons. She's facing her demons. I am... Um, I am completely in awe of how she's reached out for help because it took me until I was 30-something until, you know, I was much older than her you, when Patricia, I reached out for help. Let me ask you quickly, you know, this comes down to parental duty of care and in all the papers today is professional duty of care because of the Jeremy Kyle tragedy that we've all been reading about as uh, the show's been pulled. You've been in a, on a show where you've had to deal with members of the public talking about this kind of thing. What do you make of, of what's happened here? Um, I'm, forgive me, Piers, but I'm not going to answer that question because, really, the focus of this is very much Billy's story. And Billy was the one who set this story in motion. She wanted to speak. My career has overshadowed her problems for long enough, mm -hmm. so I'd love us to focus on okay. Billy because, at the moment, that's where my right. Billy, uh, interest lies. Billy, let's go to you for the, for the last word. You heard what your mum said there. What's your reaction, quickly? 
I'm so grateful to my mum. As I say, she's been brilliant, but you can't be there, you can't do everything. And as I said before, mental illness, addiction, it doesn't discriminate. And your advice to others, as you say, who may be struggling right now? It's very hard to get help by yourself. It's very hard to overcome these issues on your own. You need to reach out for help. There is help available. The Mental Health Crisis Line, there's a great addiction charity, Port of Call. Um, there's so many places. Reach out, get help, and your life can get well, better. Billy, thank you very much well, indeed. Tricia, thank you also very much indeed.